Uh, isolate applies to all circumstances where people are doing maintenance and repairs on equipment and need to have it safely locked out and shut off. It's the opportunity to improve safety, reduce uh, injuries, eliminate deaths, uh, reduce costs and collect data for business analysis at the same time. It's a uh, global solution, it applies to all industries, it's not uh, centric to uh, industry in mining or oil and gas or anywhere, it applies to all industries. So that's why this is an interesting process and it's opportunities for safety and cost reduction uh, and business analysis is so broad and so interesting for us. The, uh, the situation with uh, lockout, tag and isolation systems, the current ones, are uh, paper-based. They uh, can induce errors, people make mistakes, they misread things, um, and they don't collect all the data. Now, Isolate's different, it's, it's digital, it's paperless. It collects all the data um, and it's, uh, it's easy to use. Uh, it, uh, eliminate, it eliminates errors, it, it, um, it's a, it's it eliminates errors, and uh, it uh, is quite different to the, uh, the current um, lockout, tagout situation that we have now. Well, the, the tech, uh, sometimes it's the simplest things in front of your eyes that uh, it work. And the, the tech is simply, uh, when you go through the um, office um, checkout with your credit card, you swipe it, and our tech's similar. What we have is we tag all our isolation points and devices to do with isolations of valves. We put the tag on that electronic tag. Uh, we uh, then use a, a scanner or a reader, a little handheld one, and we scan it. We then uh, download that by Bluetooth to a tablet, and it tells us whether that point's right or wrong. So we're using uh, Bluetooth, we're using uh, NFC tags, and we're using tablets. It can be cloud-based, or it could be on the internet and it can be behind the client uh, firewalls. Well, I think it makes a big difference. We, uh, we did a test, we run a big field test down at a uh, large uh, water desalination plant. Uh, the idea was to test uh, all the elements of it. The main ones to, was to detect even errors. Um, what we did, we were out testing it and of course the system picked up an error. If you made a mistake, it, it uh, sent a red alert on your, on your on the tablet and said, uh, hang on Craig, you made an error. And what it does then, it prevents you from proceeding to lock out the plant and uh, get people to work on it, and uh, it, until you correct the error, because you've got to get approval from a supervisor to, um, to proceed, and you don't get that. So um, it, um, it certainly uh, reduces human error. Um, and so the application is that, uh, it's a worldwide application, it affects, it, it applies to all equipment uh, that requires maintenance and services across the globe, actually, which is interesting. It's not just mining centric or oil and gas centric or manufacturing centric. Now, its application is, is everywhere where people have to work on plant equipment and make sure it's done safely. The other aspects of it, he, um, it collects all the data, uh, every action in real time. And that's an interesting aspect of this. It's not the primary purpose of it, but it collects it. And what happens when it collects the data, it records every action. Of course, if you want to analyse your business, how the business is going, how it's functioning, how long it took you to do something, how long it took you to do with the same task again and again and again, you, you have that data. Paper systems can't do that. So um, it can make a big difference in regard to safety. Uh, it's applicable and reducing. The, by the way, it would have prevented Piper Alpha disaster back in the 80s, where we had 186, 167 people lost their lives and we, it cost $5 billion. It would have prevented that. That's an example, extreme example of uh, what it would do. So it's applicable. It uh, can make a huge difference to safety of people uh, and it uh, reduces administration time for the process. And there is another result out of all this too, is that um, it uh, improves operating costs. So there's a combination of safety, operating costs and data. It's an interesting combination. Yeah, the, uh, this particular innovation, uh, we've trialled it on a, uh, I call it a low intensity plant, um, which is to do with water and desalination. Now, because it's so new, um, this is a bit like um, everyone's used to doing a certain way of paper based, or what I call electronic hybrid paper based. To move the, 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 uh, the ship or the Titanic away from the iceberg is, 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 is a 
is uh, interesting and challenging. What uh, the next ask uh, or requirement for uh, ourselves is for more paid trials in different industries. We need to put it in an oil and gas context, a mining context, a manufacturing context, a utilities context, a power generation context. We need to put it in another three or four trials in those industries contexts because they won't relate necessarily to our trial in a big water desalination plant, which is sort of low intensity, but still is dangerous. So pay trials, um, then that enables us to get a footprint uh, that leads to, um, to commercialization and sales. The other uh, uh, parallel path we're pursuing is some of our competitors who use paper-based systems is that uh, uh, Isolate integrates into their system easily. So it may well be that they have a footprint in the industry now and uh, we are currently, currently talking to uh, a supplier um, and they're looking at to see whether they can integrate the solution with them. So there's two ways of doing this. So that's the, the next call. One is more trials leading to uh, then uh, uh, sales to uh, clients. The other one is to integrate with our competitors and uh, give them a license to use the IP.